Hey, uh, SPE friends. Uh, my name is Mercedes Landazri. I'm with Tecma PM, and I became the chair of the recycling division on July 1st, 2020. Now, a few days later, as we were celebrating the dawn of US independence <laughs> amid today's challenging conditions, I was reminded that through adversity and struggle come new beginnings and new opportunities. Our concern for sustainability and the triple bottom line has been put on the back burner as we address immediate needs of brave importance. But we mustn't forget as we emerge from the crisis of this pandemic that we have another crisis waiting for us. Our industry, and I know this isn't gonna be uh, uh, easy to hear or a popular opinion, but our industry has become broken. Our incredible polymer innovations have outpaced the infrastructure, technology and societal education we require to recapture the precious materials we've produced. We've taken the most amazing environmental solution and turned it into an environmental problem. Now, armchair advocates for sustainability tell us to stop using plastic, but this is not the answer, and I think we all know this, but we do need to stop abusing plastic. So, as chair for SPE's recycling division, I invite you to attend a new virtual conference, Innovations in Chemical and Mechanical Recycling on September 24th. Learn about the latest technologies from industry experts and let's work together to lead the way to a new age of sustainability in plastics. With me today, uh, I have a, a group of some of our board members. We have our immediate past chair, uh, who's also the conference chair, Mr. John Ratzleff. Everyone. Uh, hey, John. We have um, our former counselor and current uh, TPC or technical program chair, Adrian Merrington. How are you doing? Hey, Adrian. And he's going to be telling us a little bit about the great lineup we have in a minute. And we have one of our uh, newest board members and our future TPC, Namrata Salumke, who is learning the ropes from Adrian. So thanks so much for joining us, guys. Thank you. Um, so let's talk about the recycling division and recent name changes. Um, you know, it was formerly sustainability division, um, gone through some, some, some name changes over the years. Our wonderful immediate past chair, John, uh, who's also the conference chair, uh, John, you are really a key player in getting our division to put on the first couple of events we've held in years. Uh, so can you tell us about what your goals were for this division when you got involved a couple of years ago? Well, you know this, many of our members know this, that we were named the sustainability division before, but it's such a broad topic today with so many different facets of what you do for sustainability, whether it's reducing and recycling, uh, the, the mechanisms that go into the equipment to, to get the... Uh, material from the municipalities to actually into the pallets to the actual fabricators. And their topics was just so broad. So when we came, I came on the board, uh, the main thing was to sit around and decide what do we really want to be and where was most of the expertise that was on the board. And it was very clear to me that most of the people on the board were very much involved with the mechanical or the chemical recycling aspects of sustainability. So through a lot of cooperation, a lot of discussions, uh, a lot of help from uh, my colleague here, Adrian is with here today. Uh, we came to some conclusions that we really need to focus on the mechanical and the chemical recycling. And as many as you know, we recently named, renamed the, the uh, group, the uh, division to the recycle division of SBE. Once we got through all of the uh, mission statements and the ideas of what we wanted to do, we also looked at uh, revamping some of the people on the board. Uh, we were short on some people and we've got some fresh new faces. Uh, some of my colleagues here today are with us. And um, it's very much a joy to see the energy that we now have on the division. And it's quite amazing. As soon as we got the new faces and, and the refocus uh, with the expertise of some of the older members on the board and with the new faces that we have, we just took off. And we started with some webinars with some uh, uh, help from some of our uh, members that are on the board already. And then with the help of uh, SB headquarters, we started finding a lot of our resources on speakers. And uh, we now are leading into our first virtual conference for the Recycle Division. And it's quite an honor to see it all happening. And I'm very excited to hear about the speakers to hear them speak about the topics. And I, I give a lot of kudos to Adrian as a TPC of going through and going through a lot of papers that were submitted and getting us the prime papers that we needed to have for our, our virtual conference. So that's pretty much in a nutshell, Mercedes. 
<laughs> awesome. Thank you, John. And I will say too that you, you know, you've been a mentor to me uh, over the years, um, really since since I think you know I, I started getting involved in in SPE and. And you're the one who uh, who brought me onto the board, so thank you, thank you for that, and and for setting me up for success um, <laughs> during my during my uh, year being a chair. Very much an honor. Thank you, uh, Adrian. So uh, let's talk content. We had way more abstracts submitted than we could fit into a single day. Um, you know, some people wanted to just say, well, let's 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 use all of them, but you were really committed to to just using the, the cream of the crop, um, since it was gonna be the first event that we put on in a while um, uh, for a conference event. So can you tell us about some uh, of the specifics, some of the papers we can expect to see and, and uh, maybe some of the highlights or what you're looking forward to most? Sure, absolutely. As you said, we had um, an awful lot of um, papers submitted to us, many more than we could fit into one day, but sticking with the one day format, I think we really have chosen that cream of the crop um we've identified a couple of papers that we wanted to pull out and maybe give a little bit more impetus and uh, one of those is the keynote from rick wagner of chevron phillips he's going to be talking about charting a path to a circular plastics economy uh, in the afternoon uh, our lead off speaker is a plenary from laura thompson out of green blue and she's going to be presenting on mass balance accounting for recycled materials that's, that's two of our speakers, but we, we really have um, quite a gamut of speakers. They're, they're, covering, um, they're coming from multinationals, they're coming from academia, talking on a variety of subjects all around the, the topic of, of plastics recycling. I think that, that should give you a good idea of what we, what we can expect to, to hear. Fantastic, thank you so much, Adrian. Offer also that for the specifics on the speakers, uh, SP headquarters does have that listed on the SP website. So if anyone wants to know details of both speakers, their bios, uh, who they work for, companies represented, that we have it all represented on, on the the uh, recycling division uh, page right now. So by all means, let's jump to it. Great, thank you. Um, now, uh, Namrata, you are uh, are one of the newest members of our board. Uh, can you, uh, can you tell us about how, uh, how you got involved in SPE and how and, and why you became uh, a board member and, and maybe a little bit about what you're learning about being a uh, TPC or a technical program chair? Uh, sure. Um, so uh, I am a, a polymer engineer at Eaton and um, Mostly in my role, what I have been doing is we do material design, um, we develop materials for different products. And more recently, there has been a lot of focus on sustainability and circular economy. Um, so what happened was I was doing my own research. I was trying to find out more information online. And at some point I got really overwhelmed by all this wealth of information. And at that point I thought, hey, I should go and look at SPE because they know what everything, what is going on everywhere. Um, and they know what's going on in the plastics industry. Um, so when I was actually at school, uh, there used to be a lot of SPE events. So I thought, hey, this might be a good thing, good way to get involved. And um, that's when I found out about the recycling division, uh, got in touch with um, you, Adrian and Sean, um, I think that uh, just initiating the conversation, I think um, that was very welcoming, of course. And uh, just being a part of the conversation, I started to learn more and more uh, about sustainability, about recycling. Um, and now uh, I'm learning from Adrian on uh, what it means to be a TPC. Uh, I, and that's very exciting as well, uh, understanding what is going on in the industry, what is the state of art research going on um, in academia as well as industry. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to be on board. Wonderful, thank you so much. And we're, we're, we're lucky to have you on the board as well. And thanks for stepping up to be our future uh, TPC. Um, so that's it. We wanted to keep it short and sweet today. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, uh, register at uh, S for spe.org uh, slash events. And um, we look forward to seeing you at our virtual conference on September 24th. Bye. Look forward to seeing everyone. <laughs>